Hello and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk to you about uh, how you can trigger actions that you create on the website called If This Then That www.iftt.com You create the actions there, turn off lights, turn on Philips lights, uh, all these actions that you uh, create there. I'm going to show you how to create the simple actions uh, on a PC after that. But now I want to show you how to trigger this from your gear uh, S3 as you can see right here and the Samsung S8. I'm going to show you which application you need to, to get on a mobile and application you need to get on a watch. I'm going to show you how to put the actions from the website if this then that to this uh, mobile greasing with a watch. And there you go, simple, I'm going to show you how to trigger just so you can see everything. If I do lights off, lights will be off. If I do lights on, lights will be on. So the application that you need call triggers. And these triggers you can add, as you can see plus here, you can see you can add a lot of actions that you copy from the if this then that website. I'm going to show you later how to do that, but now I'm going to show you about this application. And the watch also have an application called Triggers. It's the same application. You sync it with the mobile, from the watch with the mobile. So everything you do on a mobile, you click sync, it sync all the actions name and actions to the watch. So here I create an actions. Uh, the actions goes, for example, you click plus, you give a name for the action, turn on light, turn off light. The event name, this is the name that you give to the action from if this then that website. You put it here, case sensitive, big letter must be big letters, small letters must be small letters. So here I create a lot of actions, name, this is must be the name of the of the actions that you create. I'm going to show you how to get it. But one thing you need to know is that you click on set if this then that maker key. You click on it, you get the key from the if this then that website one time. Uh, instead copy all the link, you just copy the link one time and all you need to give is the name of the actions that you create on if this then that for everything. So here I have edit which change the lights of the Philips lights and also cinema lights on, lights on, lights off, backlights so all these uh, things you can give in this uh, application all you need to do is sync it and all the names from the mobile gonna move into the watch you can trigger them the way you want so now I'm gonna show you in a website uh, how to do it on a website on my computer and if you have any question write on a comment below and I will do my best to help you I see you on my PC hey I'm back now I'm on my PC I'm going to show you on the website uh, IFTTT uh, if this then that how to create an actions and based on uh, the start of the video uh, how to put it into the uh, mobile, sync it with a watch and then you can uh, trigger actions from your Samsung Gear S3 Frontier and also from S2 Classic. You go into uh, ifttt.com and you create uh, new applets you create account first and I assume you already have uh, Philips Hue lights so I'm going to show you uh, how to add actions uh, trigger my Philips light. You click on this, write web, web hooks. You click on this link here. You give a name and remember this is the name that you put on the triggers application on your mobile. So if you, for example, write on the actions, not the action name, but the action under the name supposed to be on. The name you can choose whatever name you want on the triggers application. You click trigger 
and then you click that you click that you write Philips you find out this and then you for example uh, turn on lights so you click on turn on lights and once you go in here you need to set up the username and password for your Philips account and when you set up the information for your Philips account you get all the lights that you set up on the mobile for the Philips Who uh, you have it here so for example back of the screen lights because I have two lights on the back of my screen create an action you click this event name on and then you have it you click finish and then you have the actions so if you wanna trigger and use this information that you just create here to edit information to your triggers apps on your mobile all you have to do is you go into my applets services you write webhook again you click on this documentation now on the documentation you see few things that you need to uh, note if you want to use it as a website which means that if you have stream deck for example you put the name on this is the name of the uh, trigger that you had and you copy all of this link you copy it you put it into the stream deck as a website and then every time you click on the button it will trigger the lights on but this is if you have a stream deck but to use it for your mobile all you have to do is you copy this key you remember on the start of the video I says you need to find your key for the if this then that so either you copy it from here or you copy it from here you put it one time and the name of the actions you create a new trigger sync it with your watch and then you're good to go so you have to remember you can copy all this website here the address put it on stream deck create many many uh, buttons using this address all you have to change you don't need to copy the address all the time you just need to change the name of the action which is going to be in our case on and if you use the bottom line you need to use bottom line if you use the big letters you need to use the big letters it's a case sensitive uh, name must be so remember this link this is the key that you put one time into the triggers application on your mobile one time if you want to create a link you just give a name and you give this name of the actions that you just create and of course you can find a lot of application you can find a lot of things that you can triggers and use uh, now if you have a D-Link for example adapter you click new plates uh, webhook you click here give a name for example on create trigger that you write D-Link and then you find D-Link smart plug turn on turn off trigger off once you click on on you're going to see all the adapters that you have set up on the D-Link application on your mobile you see them here, you can trigger them on and off this is how I turn on and off the lights on my studio here I use a D-Link adapter so yes, this is how you use the If This Then That website to have a trigger uh, actions with your watch again you have nothing to do with the watch you only need to download the application sync it with the application on your mobile and everything you do on the mobile will copy itself into the watch go back to the start of the video after you watch the second part 
and get the information you need and the key that you need and set it up and let me know if it helped you this information I really hope I help uh, some of you if not all of you comment below subscribe to my channel and I will see you on my next video thank you for watching bye bye